can bring a change in your home. You can bring a change even to your parents' home and encourage you because you have an opportunity to turn around your family. All right? But be an example to them in conduct. In How is your conduct? How do you react when you hear that somebody has gossiped around about you? Somebody amenda amemwari ameambia mwalimu a lie about you? How do you react? And when you read a mwezako, how do you react? But Paul is telling us, now he's not speaking to Timothy, he's talking to us. Can you be an example in conduct? Love them. Do what? Love. Yes, treat them with love. Treat them with love. Do you have love for people, people who maybe persecute you? Who maybe try to bring you down? Those like the girls who have led us today. I've like the confident, they are those that are our leaders, that are encouraging them to become what God created them to be, alright? Love them. Love those people who don't speak well about you. And especially if you know that you have a gift in you. And you want God to help you fan it into flame. Operate with love. Alright? Because our God is less. Love wraps everything else. And that's why Paul was careful to tell Timothy that you be an example in love. Then Paul was telling Timothy be an example in is your spirit. Operate in a pure spirit. The spirit of God is a spirit of humility. Can you be humble? When you are wrong and somebody corrects you, operate in the spirit of God. God of a uh, spirit of humility. What that we and therefore, can you catch yourself? We are saying from today, we are going to be, uh, uh, we are going to operate in the spirit of God, and we know the char characteristic of the spirit of God. Then Paul was telling Timothy, be an example in faith. Eh? In, where is your faith? Who is your faith? Where is your faith? Una amini nani sana? Amini nani sana? You feel like you're not open school? Yes, to Paul. You know, Paul was trying to tell Timothy, put your faith in God. Put your faith in God. Yes, put your, we must, even as we must put our faith in God, who only created us, who he started a good work of creating us, making you who he wants you to be. He is the only one who will bring that good work into completion. Hallelujah. And finally, Alimwambi Aje, be an example in Nimebakisha Nini. They are five. I've talked about conduct, love, spirit, faith, yeah, purity. Yes. Be an example. Be pure. Be pure in body, in your spirit, and mostly as God, we want to walk a pure life. Maintain that. Walk in purity. Walk in purity. Even when you go home. Even when you go for the December holiday, don't give your body to every town deacon. Yes. Our, our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. And we know that the, the, our God is very holy. And that's why he called the Holy Spirit. He dwells in a holy temple. Therefore, we must keep our bodies pure and holy. Alright? And it may be for some, for some reason, there is always a second chance. The blood of Jesus Christ is still powerful, is still at work, and it can cleanse us today and we start in a place, 